What's up everybody? It's a pretty overcast day today, so we took some time to sort some signed cards that we recently picked up in MagicCon Las Vegas. Um, I don't know if I've shown this particular box previously on the channel, but I do keep my signed cards sleeved in these uh, 400 count, actually this is 800 count storage boxes. They hold up to about a thousand magic cards without sleeves and maybe uh, seven or 800 cards fully sleeved. Um, so this particular box of signed cards is all cards that were more modern or pre-modern, um, not too many vintage cards because I put those in the um, old school vintage box. But previously they were all sleeved with white, just kind of, a, I had a deal on these bulk white sleeves a long time ago. Uh, and so I wanted to mix things up a little bit and kind of sort these by color. So what I did in this week's mail day is I picked up a bunch of colored ECW deck guard sleeves uh, in various colors. So we have some extra white ones. Uh, and then I also picked up some different Wooberg magic colors, red, black, blue, green. And then I used those I sorted those, kind of went through this whole box, and I'll kind of show you some of the cards in the collection. Um, and I had them previously, like I said, in white sleeves, but I went through and put them in matching colored sleeves. So like these Deathrite Shamans signed by Steve Argyle, he signed them in green and black because it's a green and black card, but I think they look good in these black uh, matte so they don't shine on camera, matte finish. Um, they're very cheap, very inexpensive. Here's some red Flames of the Firebrand signed in red. Now they're in red sleeves. There's a Lotus Path de Jin. Um, that is from FRF, Fate Reforged, I think is the set. He double signed this one in silver and blue, kind of a shadow signature, it's pretty cool. And so I've had picked up these at conventions or um, uh, Iluxcon art shows over the years, like all these Steve Belladin cards. He was at Iluxcon a couple years ago, and I just had a stack of common cards that I had opened from boxes and brought them with me to get signed. And now they're in sleeves that match the frame and the border of the card. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I also have, let's see here, I'll grab a, the next stack. in the box. Maybe I'll stack them like that, I guess. Ah, they're, very, they're a little slippery, but they are nice and secure in this box here. So uh, Eric Deschamps has a shadow signature. Um, D. Terlizzi, some older old school cards with some alterations on them. Um, Edwin, the magic engineer, signed some chief engineer cards for me at Vegas a few years ago. There's multiple versions, just the regular version, uh, foil version, I think, signed in blue, borderless, full art, signed in silver, Randy Galagos, uh, Donato, who was at Iluxcon in 2016, and then some zombie creature tokens by Luis Graciano, Lucas, in the black. Um, Ralph Horsley, Jeff Laubenstein. Um, prices of these sleeves are pretty inexpensive. I got a pack of 50 for like $2. You can also get a pack of 80 in a deck box for like $5. So <clears throat> that's probably, if I do the quick math in my head, let's say there are 800 cards, that's probably four times eight, I don't know, maybe like 30 bucks to sleeve all of these. Um, Lindsay Look signed all of these uh, charcoal diamonds from Commander 14 a long time ago. Charcoal diamond, fire diamond in red, marble diamond, moss diamond, sky diamond, and some original mystical tutors from, these were from uh, Eternal Masters, I think it was the first set that that came out in. That was pretty cool. Um, I've got these Sign in Bloods by Howard Lyon. They're signed in red, so I put them in red sleeves. 
Um, Howard also has a shadow signature. This is Master of the Way from Kanzatarkir. That set came out in 2014. I opened up a ton of Kanzatarkir that Kanz of Tarkir that year. Um, this is a cat token engraved in wood by Aaron Miller. I think that was a very popular set. They had those enemy fetch lands in Kanz of Tarkir that were like 20, 30 bucks a piece. So you can get in draft booster packs. So that was kind of a good value if you could, if you could pull those. Um, I also have some a few artist proofs, not many in this box, but just a few, uh, mainly by Aaron Miller, to kind of go with the regular cards that are signed. I put them in clear sleeves so you could see that they were uh, artist proofs on blank on the back. And then I got a ton of Jeff Miracola cards. I've seen him many times over the years at a lot of local events as well. He is also at LuxCon sometimes, power sink. Um, with a, there's one with a little altar on it. You get art altar, propaganda, familiar ground. I think they even have a ton more Jeff Miracola cards in here. Fire whip. Okay. On. Urza Saga cards, Wizard Mentor from Urza Saga, Bouncing Beebles, he's iconic artist of these Beeble, these little Beeble characters. This is Jeff Miracola. Uh, Frantic Search from way back in Urza's Legacy. Underground River, he did a bunch of mountains. Um, Ignorant Bliss was one of my favorite cards. Um, it's sort of a vertical, I've seen the original art of this, it's more of a vertical piece, I think, and then the blue water extends below the frame, so the wizards cropped it to fit the card art, but that's kind of cool. And then most recently in Vegas, I had him sign these full art borderless frantic searches in blue, so I have a set of those now. And so that was just what my idea uh, to store these cards and kind of make it a little easier to see them. They are alphabetized by artist last name. So we had Steve Argyle. Um, now we're on M. This is Jeff Miracola. And then Therese Nielsen is N. I have a place out of chokes in green sleeves. Charisma, the original fact or fiction. A bunch of islands from Invasion. Some sorts of plowshares from 20 masters 25 i think control magic from eternal masters um yeah and then david palumbo signed a bunch of cards i think he was also at ilex con or gen con one of those one of those cons i just sorted them by color put them in these sleeves um this is more just like, I wouldn't go out of my way to acquire these cards. I just had them in my collection from opening up draft booster boxes and then sorted them by artists in my collection and then you would take them with me to conventions and then get them signed. Here's a bunch of Mark Poole cards. These I kept in the white sleeves because I liked how they all looked and they'll match my <clears throat> vintage signed card collections. Uh, this particular chunk of Mark Poole cards did not fit in the vintage box. And of course, these are all the more modern cards uh, that came out recently in Dominaria Remastered and Commander Masters. So I just sleeved them up and stuck them in this box because they were newer. All the reprinted Birds of Paradises are in there too. Um, RK Post had a bunch of cards from back Urza Sagas when he started. Uh, Morphling would be one of the more popular cards of his. Avatar of Woe, all Prophecy maybe. And then the original Champions of Kamigawa, he did some cards, um, some Tree Folks, some curl, Coral Merfolk, some um, Forest that Matt Stewart did, but I had him 
write happy trees on there because he had these tokens, Bob Ross, eternalized tokens, emblem tokens. So I just t put those in his sleeves and then the counter spells that we picked up recently in Vegas. Sapphire Drake, some Mike Rabe extra signed cards. More Mike Rabe, um, Andrea Reddick, Dan Scott did Ponder. He signs in sort of a shadow signature as well. This is a silver and black. He did Regrowth as well. And I have some foil signed cards. Greg Staples did some foils back in the Mercadian Masks, Urza's Destiny block. Zach Stella did a ton of cards, even this Counterspell in uh, Magic 25. Probably about a couple more stacks to go. Here's the rest of the Zach Stella. This one is a Shadow Signature, gold and black. Matt Stewart signed a bunch of cards. He likes to sign in the color of the frame or artwork, which is kind of neat. So like green cards, he'll sign in green. Red cards, they'll sign in red. So I put those in matching sleeves. And then I have this stack of Baleful Dolls by Richard Thomas. <clears throat> I first met him at Gen Con back in like 2014. He would attend not as a, an artist, but just kind of incognito with his printing company. And so I found these, these were from like a vampire game, I believe. Uh, Vampire the Eternal Struggle, also by Deckmaster. This was a Wizards of the Coast game back in the day. But he had these stuffy dolls that are iconic for Black Vice and the Rack. So I had him sign these, and now I put them in black sleeves. So that's my sign box. I also have uh, Ben Thompson, kind of a rare signature from this Mercadian Mask Dust Bowl. Armor Thrall from Fallen Empires. These are all Pete Venters. He did Tendrils of Agony, Pithing Needle. And then Franz Volwinkel, who did a Nile Spellbomb. Um, the Liliana Vess I had, Talia sign. A place at a Twitch by Voxy, Twitch streamer. Kev Walker did some foils from Urza's Destiny. Anthony Waters did some Lands, Treetop Village from Urza's Legacy, Elfham Palace from 8th Edition, some Hinder Full Arts, um, Defiler of Instinct that we had Rachel Weeks sign at GP Minneapolis, L.A. Williams, Lawrence A. Williams did Caldera Lake from The Tempest, and last but not least in this box is a Cloud Spirit foil from Mercadia Masks by Mark Zug with the old Shooting star foil on that. Who remembers? These are the original OG Mercadian masks from 1999, I believe, with the old shooting star that you see nowadays. Reprinted to oblivion in the modern sets. Speaking of modern sets, um, so those are all the more modern sign cards. I also picked up in this order several sealed booster packs of Magic the Gathering cards. Uh, these are going to be opened by me on the shorts videos that can be up to 60 seconds in length. Uh, they're a lot of fun to make. I can put music to them and not get uh, copyright claims because we are giving credit to the, to the musicians who recorded the music. We have some Kamigawa set boosters, so we're going to open up those. So if you are not subscribed to the channel, Feel free to subscribe, and then you'll get uh, a, a video in your feed every morning from me. Um, I'll try to do one, one kind of like collection update video each week, because those take longer. This one's already 15 minutes in length. Um, and then I'll make probably six or so pack openings each week. I'll just get some more of these packs and open them on the channel for you to enjoy. Uh, we'll do a little commentary maybe each week when we pick up the packs or the boxes and decide what we're gonna open, but we also have some Brothers War. Those have the Transformers cards in them. We have Phyrexia, all will be one. 
These have the um, Phyrexia cards in them. And then last but not least is March of the Machine Draft Boosters. We opened up a box or two of these on the channel. You can check those out if you want to see the Draft Booster box being opened. Uh, but please stay tuned. Uh, starting tomorrow, we'll start opening up these packs in the shorts section. So if you want to watch and jam along to some packs being opened, uh, we certainly appreciate all the views and likes and comments below. Have a great day.